Hey guys, today I'm here to show you what is in my hospital bag. I have been wanting to film this video for you guys, but it has taken me a while to get all the stuff ready for the hospital bag, and I wanted as much as I could in there to show you guys. Know this is going to be my third baby so this is the third time I've actually packed for a hospital bag and as most second or third or more time moms say I definitely overpacked for the first baby and to be honest I probably overpacked this time too so when I go through my bag I'll show you everything that I have and I'll let you know if I actually used it or not and um then at the end of the video you can leave comments down below of things that you thought maybe I forgot or things that you're wondering why I didn't pack and I can answer that in the comments for you. But I'm gonna go ahead and get started because there is kind of a lot in the bag and a lot to explain. So the first thing is the Boppy pillow. This has been a lifesaver, not necessarily in the hospital, but definitely out of the hospital. So maybe I'll talk about that in like a baby must haves video or something. But we got a new cover for it, it's really cute. Got this off of Etsy. If you want to know the store name, leave in the comments below and I'll let you know. I didn't really use this for breastfeeding too much. I definitely used it at the beginning when the babies are really, really small. It's nice to have like a little prop for them. But I basically used it to prop them up. Like I would just lay their heads here and they would like lay like that and I would have this on my hospital bed with me. I did get yelled at one time by a nurse because I had, I think it was Jane, um, laying in the bobby pillow on the bed and I had fallen asleep and she's like if you're gonna go to sleep You need to put the baby in the bassinet So just be careful what you do with your babies, but I definitely still like to bring this to the hospital Also side note Chris uses this for a pillow When I'm in labor, he kind of just goes on the couch and uses that so Hey, there's multiple uses for it. So this is my bag. And you guys, I've had this bag since middle school. It has my name on it. This bag was my dance bag in middle school. And it just comes in handy because it has lots of different pockets. But I'm gonna go ahead and start with the biggest front top part. So the first thing in here is my toiletry bag. And there's actually nothing in here because I just have it on my list to fill it up whenever I go into labor or whenever I'm going in for my induction. So this is what it looks like. These are just things that I keep in there all of the time, but it'll definitely fill up with my toothbrush and my face wash and stuff like that. Um, this is just um, a Vera Bradley bag and it can hang up in the bathroom. So I have that in there. I also have my makeup bag. Um, I think with Jane, I never did my makeup, if I recall correctly. But um, with Jackson, I did get up um, on the last day and actually put makeup on. I'm not sure why, I just was washing my face and I put a little bit on. I didn't put a ton. This is all of my makeup, um, so I might not use it all, but I just bring the whole thing just because it's easier than taking only like the essentials out. I like to have that in my bag just in case. Who knows, I might not put any makeup on. I might. Um, I have a pair of gym shorts and a shirt for Chris. Now, I doubt he will use this. With Jane, when I had Jane and when I had Jackson, Chris never showered or anything at the hospital. The hospitals that I deliver at are really close. The hospital here is only like five minutes away. And when I had Jackson, he came back here a lot to help with the dogs and um, to take a shower and to change his clothes and all that. But I decided to just throw this in here just in case he felt dirty and we had like a really long labor or something. and. He didn't want to go home or you know whatever so we have this just in case he is definitely like a germy person like i am so he probably wouldn't take a shower at the hospital so it doesn't need like clean underwear or anything um i have a going home outfit in here for myself and to be honest i will show you something else that i have in here for me both pregnancies i think previously I just went home and whatever I was wearing at the time, I just sat my little bottom in that wheelchair. They wheeled me out and I just transferred right to the car. It's not like I needed like this big, nice outfit to go home in. So I have this just in case. It's just a bigger shirt, 
some shorts that are like loose. It does look like there's a waistband, but this waistband broke, so like, look how big these are. They're really big on me, so um, at least they're comfortable and they won't rub in areas that I don't want them to rub in. And then just an extra sports bra, just in case. And then here we have uh, just a nightgown dress thing. It's from Walmart, it has like a lacy shoulders and it's gray and I got a new one when I went when I had Jane and I had and I got a new one when I had Jackson so I decided to treat myself and get a new one for Piper too and this is really nice I usually wear the um, hospital gown that they give me when I give birth just because who knows how messy it's gonna get it needs to be an open back usually especially if you're getting an epidural so it's just easier to wear their nightgown or their hospital gown but as soon as I get into the postpartum room and I get situated and set up, I like to put on something that I feel more comfortable in. And this, so this is going to be like really big on me, but I can sit down in my bed and I can still lift it up to nurse the baby or pull it down to nurse the baby. And I just feel comfortable and I feel cleaner that I'm not wearing the hospital gowns too. So I have that which I definitely used in both of the other pregnancies. I always changed into that. Um, I have two pads in here. This is a just in case thing. Both times that I've had my kids, they've provided me with all the things I need, pads. They provided me with the mesh underwear, which is amazing underwear. And so I never had to use my own stuff, but I would hate to be left without something and something like this and needing it. So I just put two in my bag. Doubt I would need it, but just in case it is in my bag. But the other two times I've packed it, I've never used them. Same with underwear. Here's some underwear. This is like really, really comfortable, big underwear, but most likely I'll just be wearing the mesh underwear that they provide for me. Okay guys, I'm so excited about this and I can't wait to start using it. But this is from Covered Goods. They sent me this breastfeeding cover and it's a three or four in one cover. And I haven't used it for anything yet, but I'm really excited. So while I'm in the hospital, I usually don't worry about covering up while I'm breastfeeding, but if we do have um, family or friends over and Piper gets hungry, this will be nice to put on. Um, cover myself up so that everyone can stay in the room while she eats but I will do a formal review on this another time once I start using it but it's just this really pretty fabric and it's a four-in-one because you can use it as a scarf look how pretty that is and then you can also use it as your breastfeeding cover and it's very large, it goes over your whole entire body, it covers your back, it covers everything. And then you can still see down to the baby, which is really nice. And also, since it's really hot here in the summer, this fabric is really loose and really um, airy and so I won't be hot. This also goes over and it acts as a car seat cover, which is amazing. And again, with it being really hot, a lot of the car seat covers that I've seen are like really thick. And so this will be nice to have a thin one. And then it also is a grocery cart cover or like a high chair cover, which is amazing too. So you can use this for everything. But like I said, I'll do another review once I start using it so that I can have like a real um, review for you guys about how I liked it and how I used it. So I have that in my bag. Um, this was something else sent to me. You guys have already seen this. If you guys watch me regularly, this is my robe that was sent to me from Pink Blush Maternity, and I'm really excited about this robe, you guys. Look how pretty it is. It's navy with these flowers. Um, this is a labor and delivery robe from their website. I will leave the link down below if you guys want to check it out. They have all sorts of different pretty patterns like this. And talk about airy. This is almost like see-through. It is perfect for the hospital. It's perfect for breastfeeding moms. I can even put this over my nightgown that I got. Um, but if you didn't want to put it over a nightgown and just wanted to wear this, it's short, which I like. It's not going to get all tangled up in my legs in the bed. And obviously it's very easy to breastfeed in. And with people coming in and taking pictures and stuff, you'll look cute. You won't be wearing the hospital gown pattern 
ugly things. I feel like I'd be able to walk around the room and feel covered up and nice. I have one little blanket for Piper. This one is says her name on it and her monograms. And I brought Jackson's to the hospital that he had. It's very soft and it's thicker than like a swaddle blanket, but it's still thinnish. Um, and I probably just use it for pictures and stuff. I'm not really gonna swaddle her in it too much, I don't think. But speaking of, I do have one receiving blanket, an Aiden and Anise, just plain white. And then I also have a Swaddle Me blanket. Both Jane and Jackson loved these, so I'm hoping that Piper loves hers too, and I'm just gonna go ahead and bring it to the hospital because I'm terrible at swaddling children in these swaddle blankets. I usually use these just for like, covers or like lightweight blanket, especially in the summertime, she'll need a lot of lightweight blankets. But if the nurses wanna swaddle my kid and like a hospital blanket, I'm fine with that, but I will probably be using these right away if it's just me or Chris swaddling the baby, so I'm bringing this with me for sure. So that is actually it for the top middle section of my bag. Some things that I'm actually gonna put in there as well because it's not necessarily full yet is my computer. So I'm definitely obviously gonna be doing the vlog still and I wanna edit and use YouTube and use the computer for other things as well like movies. So we're gonna bring, be bringing the computer. We might even be bringing the tripod. Obviously I'll need my cameras and all the chargers for that. Don't have those packed in my bag quite yet. But those will go in the front zipper of my bag as well. There's nothing in there quite yet so that's where all my electronics and chargers, phone chargers, things like that. I have listed in my phone as last minute things that need to go in the bag. They're not in my bag now but I won't forget them because they are on the list of things to pack last minute. So onto this pocket that has hardly anything in it. The only thing in it is sweet tarts. And honestly, this is something that I always think I'm gonna use and then I never do. At my hospitals, you're not allowed to eat or drink really at all when you're in labor or when you're being induced or anything. So they say that you can bring like hard candies to suck on if you want. I'm not sure if these are considered hard candies, but this is what we had in the house, so I put these in my bag. And then I also have on the list to throw in some last minute snacks, especially for Chris, maybe a few bags of Cheez-Its or granola bars or something like that. Um, because if we have the baby at night, and then we're like starting, the cafeteria is closed. He might not wanna leave the hospital. We need to have a few snacks ready. But I will say that both times I've packed snacks and hard candies especially, I did not use them. So obviously this is, again, you never know what's gonna happen, but this is just in case I am wanting something and they let me have those. And then just in case Chris is really, really hungry and wants a snack and can't leave or something's closed, he can have some snacks out of our bag. Another thing that we don't have packed quite yet is an extra pillow. We did not use an extra pillow, if I recall correctly, for Jane's birth. I don't need an extra pillow. Sometimes people say, you know, if the mom is wanting her own pillow, like if you have, if you have some special pillow, make sure you do put a pillowcase on it that's not plain white so that you can distinguish your pillow from other pillows in the hospital so you don't leave it. But last time Chris did come home and get an extra pillow for himself. So he will probably be doing that again this time. And like I said, still make sure we put a different pillowcase on it so that we don't leave it. Because we actually did leave our pillow last time. We had to come back and get it. So the last pocket in my bag has a bunch of stuff for Piper. Um, the first thing in here is not for Piper. I have some breast pads in here. I don't recall the hospital giving me breast pads. I don't remember. But um, most of the time your milk doesn't come in anyways too much until you get home. So. I probably won't need these or I might use these just in case. I have a little Soothy Passy. Both my kids loved these Advent Soothy Passies. They do give us these in the hospital, these exact brand. Oh, there's a hair. I swear I washed this. Um, but this was Jane's. It, it's like a little elephant. It's really cute. And Jackson had a duck. I am bringing a few nightgowns and a few outfits for Piper, although I'm not really big on changing the baby too much just because they're sleeping so much anyways and they really don't need to be changed a bunch. But this one's really cute. It's from Sweet Sprouts on Etsy and it just says her name on it. 
and it's a nightgown so that we can do easy changes. This kind of looks big. It's a zero to three, it's not newborn. So I do have other things for her to wear if this is just like way too big on her because that'll be uncomfortable if it is way too big. I have this cute little hat. I'm not a big baby hat person, but both of my babies wore hats pretty much the whole time they were in the hospital just because the heat leaves from their heads, so it's nice to have them cuddled up with a little hat on. But with it being July and really hot here, once she gets home, she's probably not gonna wear any hats. So we gotta put the cute hats on her while we can in the hospital. I also have just this cute little USC, University of South Carolina headband. Just in case the newborn photographer comes by and wants to take any pictures, I wanna have this available. I have this cute little onesie and it says little sister and I'm sure you guys can guess Jackson and Jane have a shirt as well. There's a little sparkly heart on the bum. So I'm gonna put that on when Jane and Jackson come to see her for the first time. And it also came with a little headband and Jane has a matching headband so that we can get some cute pictures with them. I'm sure I'll put them back in the outfits once we get home and take more pictures, but that'll be fun to do. And then I just have one extra little onesie. It's pink stripes, pink and white stripes and one extra headband. You can't have too many headbands with little girls, but this one is really cute and has pink flamingos on it. I think that's it for clothes. Yeah, for clothes, that's it for her. They have all sorts of like plain white onesies and plain t-shirts there at the hospital. And also when you're breastfeeding, a lot of times they suggest that your baby be naked when they breastfeed or just in a diaper. So a lot of times I did that too and then just swaddled them up really tight with no clothes on underneath the swaddle and let them sleep that way, especially in the middle of the night. So I didn't have to take the baby's clothes off every time I wanted to feed her or him and then put them back on. It was just too much. So we'll see how many outfits I actually put on her. And I'm not sure, I don't have like a big going home outfit for her or anything either, but um, she'll probably wear just one of those. The most important thing that we have for her is her lovey and she is getting a giraffe lovey i'm sure most of you guys have heard this story before but chris bought jane her lovey um, before she was born and he just picked like a random one that he liked and it was an, a white owl i really love owls so that's probably why he picked an owl but it was from little jelly cat so so soft they're not this soft after you wash them a, bil a million times but they're soft in the beginning so then when we had jackson i was like we have to get jackson a lovey and it has to be the jelly cat brand so he got a monkey jelly cat lovey. So now Piper is getting a jelly cat lovey and Jane actually picked out the giraffe, which I think is really cute. So she's getting a giraffe lovey. Hopefully she loves it as much as Jane and Jackson love theirs. Sure she will. I also have a cell phone in here and we have so many old cell phones, not too much anymore, but Chris and I have cell phones, obviously. And then Jane has an iPhone in her room that plays her sound, her white noise. Jackson has an iPhone in his room that plays his white noise. And now Piper will have a cell phone in her room that plays her white noise. And they all have the same white noise app and they all sleep to the same white noise. And they all started with the white noise in the hospital. So I'm bringing this so that at nighttime we can play this. She can get used to the sound, get used to sleeping with the sound. The last thing I have are little baby mittens. And to be honest, I just threw these in last minute. Both of my kids never used mittens. So I'm just putting these in there just in case, I don't know, something happens. I don't even have baby socks in my bag. So I don't think she'll need socks if she's swaddled most of the time. So we'll see if I even use these. This is something that I never used, but I'm packing anyway. And that is it for my hospital bag. Like I said, there's a few things that we still need to put in last minute, but it is on my phone so that when we're ready to go, if something happens, my water breaks, and we're rushing out of the house, I can just tell Chris to look at the list really quick and he can throw in the last minute things. Or if we're packing the night before the induction, you just pack everything in there and we are ready to go. So I hope you guys liked the video. Don't forget to comment below some things that you think I might've forgotten or wondering why I'm not packing it. And I'll be sure to answer your comments below. Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and we'll see you guys next time. Next time I might have a baby. Bye.